Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a high ELO Gamecast. I am Silfen. Today we have a pretty high game cast to do and I'm really actually interested in seeing this game because of the recent patch here 39.1 the meta is pretty solid and I want to see if these high elo players pull it off. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump right into the game here, as uh, there's some pretty big names in this match. On the blue team, we have Nato Sick on Yin, J Leo on Kwong, I Lancelot on Gadget, Master Splinter on my Bay Muriel, and Aloof Adept on Grux. Pretty darn good looking team with a Krong and Grux in the front line the shields on muriel is really going to amplify their sustain in uh in the front line so that works really well especially with their damage potential on the orange team we have logic on yin that one malik on kwong squishy flap on richter azzy bear on lieutenant belka and canon on morgesh nice to see a morgesh in the game nice to see a richter in the game um especially especially my man richter there with a kwong in the jungle and Yin as the ADC and left hand Belka for their mid lane. So the uh, left hand Belka more Agesh is going to be interesting if they do go in up against each other. But we do have more Agesh here for the orange team in their off lane up against a Yin and Muriel. Not a combo I personally would want to go up against as a more Agesh. Yin can really quite easily, especially, especially it being freaking NATO sick, man. Uh, he's going to be very easily able to right click those hives back. Master Splinter is going to have a super easy time uh, shielding NATO sick from, from the hive even, um, but from a lot of that damage. So, uh, Canon is, is uh, being very aggressive here against NATO sick, probably trying to pull. Uh, the minions into the towers here just to kind of help get that help from the tower to clear the wave now in the mid lane we have the left from Bellica against the gadget so the gadget's gonna have a little bit of a tricky time being Bellica being the anti-caster but as long as Lancelot here can play it safe let that poke damage do well then he can do it here's Alufa Depp getting pretty aggressive here there's a two-person smash and grab into a uh bleed that's gonna play a lot of damage but Alufa Depp's He's going ham. He wants the kill, baby. But uh, no, Logic is definitely going to get that one as uh, he was trying to be a little bit too aggressive. He actually could have gotten that. Uh, he definitely could have gotten that here as a look at how a weak Squishy Flap is and Logic. So well done on his part, but unfortunately it didn't pay off. We do have the two Kwongs in the jungle. As you can see, uh, the both of them doing almost the same rotation. Uh, looks like they are instead going for the front and backs. They're trading the which ones that are the front and back uh, camps that they leave till last. And uh, looks like Kwong here does reach level three with 10 seconds left. Wow, what a jungler there! And looks like we do have a little bit of a gank happening here with. Um, with the Richter coming in for the gang. There's the pull on Lancelot. This should be a stun lock. Yes, it is. Into a nice juicy kill. Oh, but the mine actually gets on the Richter instead. That was quite unfortunate. As uh, and obviously the, the placement there wasn't ideal. Here's that one Malik coming in from behind. He's, he does not have level 3 yet. And looks like he... Uh, is that going to be an issue here? Because he... Could. There, there's the there's the pull from Squishy Flap on Lancelot, but no follow up as Jay Leo comes in to relieve that pressure with the kill on the support, and uh, now Jay Leo is seeking blood, seeking revenge, and now that one Malak has to retreat because nothing really happened there. Logic's having doing a pretty good time on his own. Uh, Yin has a pretty good time up against um up against the Grux. He's uh, trying to bait out the Kwong sword, but there is the sword from Jay Leo. Fantastic job. Spin to the smash and grab into a secured kill. Well done, Jay Leo, to actually to manage to get that sword. Uh, two kills in the early game already uh, for Jay Leo. That's going to really set him ahead here in terms of CP. As he's probably, yes, he's looking at 7 CP here versus the Kwong 6. So it's just to secure that, um, 
Secure that CP lead here in the early game. What Squishy Flap again trying to play the gank as you know what? That is the assassin nature of Kwong. Uh, Kwong of oh, Richter. That is why uh, they do have um, they do have Kwong, uh, Richter's uh, one of his traits being a oh and he misses very nicely done here by uh, Lancelot to juke that out as that is what Richter has to do here. Uh, he 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 knew he knows that 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 pull is coming so uh, he does manage to do that. So uh, that is the thing that I love about Richter. He is a support in that he can have access to all the cards and use his great CC in a support of nature. But here's a look at depth. Not seeing that, uh, that the Kwong here is right there. Missing the stun to stun lock him into the kill. And uh, unfortunately he has to go away. Here comes the Richter though. He does have the... The... Invisible buff. The purple buff. And there is a kill here from... Uh, on the blue team's... Uh, safe lane. There is O2 missing everything. Oh boy, Lancelot being super lucky. Here. Squishy Flap is going in for the dive, but no, no follow up either. As it looks like Aloof Adept is going to unfortunately, uh, or fortunately for him, I suppose, uh, get this kill here. Unless he can get, unless the Squishy Flap can get out of here. That one, Malik. No, they have to retreat as everybody's collapsing in for this orange team to protect their Richter. He is doing a fantastic job putting a lot of pressure on on the mid lane. Which is what um, I like to see. That potential there is great as long as they can, um, as long as they can make that happen. So here's Jay Liu going ham in the jungle. Looks like that shield though. Oh, there is that supportive nature of Qua of, uh, of Richter coming out, and there it is. He was trying to make something happen there. Maybe some crazy one v two advantage there, but no, unfortunately not as uh now the muriel here is master splinter is getting a quite a good amount of uh, hero experience which is very important for muriel to get that ultimate a level five this will provide her with a good cp a uh, little bit of uh, of cp as long as he gets the last hits which will enable him to again get that little support of nature going out in the cards as well as uh obviously that ultimate which enables uh her to have some pretty good map presence and wave clear so it looks like Squishy, it's really, I, I, I'm absolutely loving the tactics here by Squishy Flap. As long as uh, his team can uh, capitalize on what he's doing, this will set his team um, ahead in, in well, in, in this early game, in the, C, in the CP department. So it's very interesting uh, that, that they are doing that. So here's a pull there. Oh, very nice by Master Splinter. Totally read that Richter pull as, uh, you know what, that's exactly when I would have pulled as well as he, uh, he just definitely did a very good job here so here's as bear contesting that purple buff he did manage to get it but uh, jay leo getting out a squishy flap here as now he's choosing to 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 kind of do something but there is the cc that yeah, one for one good job as uh, the support is more is very much likely to go down here as that is what you want instead of somebody like the jungler so that is a good trade a kwong for a richter that is a good trade and they get the gadget out of it as well so great job here from the orange team to kind of put uh, j leo back in his place a little bit as uh, we can take a look here and see his jungle is he taking care of his jungle uh ooh, five stack five stack and five stack as you know what uh, while the while 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 getting the kills here is very lucrative, being almost one CP with, without the uh, without the death penalty, you know, I uh, still got to still still got to do it, and he knows that, so he's going back. As you know, what they probably just cleared, so I would trust him for for that fantastic um, timings on his part, being a master jungler. Here's Squishy Flat missing the thing, and now uh, Luke Dev is going to oh, but there's a tower hit. Nope, logic can't. Uh, make anything happen there um, but he's going back into the lane he is three cp and eight uh, eight C nine cp and yes yeah, so he's a, eh, no he's he's doing all right he, uh, he's doing all right three assists though that is really that is really nice to see um i'm, I'm obviously guys you know that i love me some richter so i uh, do like the fact that, that there is one in here in this game so the blue team is maybe conversing on this uh more gash can the jaylu do anything no uh i don't think you can match anything there oh but there's a kill yes there is very nicely done wow maybe the more gash should have just kept running straight back and they get um a kill here in the mid lane as well with again that richter being a part of that 
Uh, there you go. That potential. These supports, ladies and gentlemen, at this high, at this high elo, um, has they have been rotating much, much more. This is the second, third game I have seen. Oh, with the unfortunate uh, Kwong mishap there on the loop of depth. Um, that is quite unfortunate to see that. Here is uh, Squishy Five and Jay Le going hardcore into for, in for Jay Leo, but the Muriel is coming as well. Oh, Mar Richter, 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 come go back, go back. Uh, as the Belka now, yes, they are collapsing on the Richter, and he is going to have a hard time here. Yep. So there is the stun. Maybe that does uh, secure his uh, his escape. Here's Jay Leo. There it, there it is. Hopefully, as the bear here can get away here. There is a uh, yep. Oh boy, can he get away? Can the mortgage come and support uh, Azzy Bear? Uh, he does make something happen. Will he be able to get away? I think so. No. No. There is the kill secure as well. Can the orange team come together here? Is this a kill on the Morgesh as well? I think so. No, no, no. Just go straight back. Just go straight back. They're trying to make something happen out of a bad situation, but I think you should just cut your losses and head back. Yup. So unfortunately, the Richter there was pulling everybody into an unfavorable, unfavorable position, as uh, they were trying to gamble into these, in into these scenarios here, and it just isn't paying off. The orange team does get the blue teams off lane down, giving them a little bit of an advantage in that regard. So if they can use the map presence that they will have now in terms of forcing somebody like this Grex here to uh, get this off lane, they can go and do Raptors. So that does set themselves up for later in the game. As long as they can get this Raptor camp, get a little bit of an advantage to force um, some kind of advantage before getting uh, or Prime, then you know what, they can definitely, definitely win this game. You squishy flap and uh, the two sports duking it out here with uh, the shields on Muriel, probably giving him the better of the two. Here is the Muriel ultimate coming in on uh, Morgesh. Uh, Morgesh versus uh, Yin and Morgesh. Or wait. Oh. Nope, Master Blitter went in on Yin here, as Lancelot here is getting picked off in the off, in, in the mid lane as well. That's one dead. Uh, and Jay Leo comes in to finish off that gank as well. So it's a one, v, one for one ganks here in the mid lane and off lane. With the orange team coming in here trying to maybe get Jay Leo here. Here's Squishy Flat being the aggressor. Again, I just absolutely love it. He gets annihilated. Holy crap! Jay Leo just being invincible here with that sheet with the with with the right click and all of that damage just completely annihilating him. There's as as the bear gonna try to get NATO sick, but no, he can't cut the can't get something out of uh out of that. So oh smoke! Wow, uh Jay Leo man, what is your build? Uh, Assassin's Ward, Void Steel Dagger, and a Whirling Wand. So. It's definitely not all power by any means at all. It's definitely not all power. So, wow, I think that is just the hero lead here. Level 7 against a level 4 Richter. I think that's more it uh, because, wow, that's a lot of damage. Holy cow. So, uh, the blue team is set up to ward off uh, Raptors a little bit better and or Prime as well. Here's Squishy Fab again getting a little bit out of position here. Can the gadget make something happen? No, he can't. So... Uh, I, while I like the aggression here, uh, it's um, probably not going to pay off a lot of time. Ooh, there's the pull to almost get Lancelot inside the tower, as uh, that would have definitely made, been in. So here's a blue team, yes, uh, coordinating around Raptors, which is uh, what's what I want to see. I want to see if uh, these high elo players can capitalize on the easy win nature. Here's, Squish here's Squishy Fly going to town here on that. Lancelot, is there the uh, team here for the uh, his team? He does manage to get the uh, orange buff, the purple buff, but he unfortunately doesn't get... Oh, he is, he is in the vision. Yeah, so he's going to be taken out, unfortunately, too much, too warded there for uh, for him to to stay alive. There is a, uh, that Kwong getting taken out, and the blue team now has the advantage to get Raptors easily. That's exactly what they're doing here. Master Smoker, Jay Liu, and Nato Sick. Fantastic cleave. Going to easily, easily take him down these Raptors. Now they definitely... Definitely, definitely, definitely have the CPU lead here. 24, 20, 15, 15, 14. Absolutely. So with a NATO stake here being 24 CP to 17, that's going to be absolutely astronomical. 4 and 0. Oh, been getting fed very well with those last hits just a minute before Orb Prime is going to get set up. So if the blue team here can make anything happen, where's Master Splinter going? Nope, nowhere in particular. 
as uh, nobody's actually engaged anywhere. So if they can get uh, some good map presence, get maybe a tier one tower down here in this right lane. And that's what they're actually trying to do here. The Grux is... Um, he is zoning here for Native Sick and Master Splinter to put pressure on this tier one, forcing the orange team to come here and deal with this uh, so that they have that space to, uh, you know, to get or prime but there is a one for one here is can that uh, that one malik here take out nato sick i'm not sure there's a shield no he's actually getting annihilated by these minions so unfortunately this did pay off for the blue team if it did they would definitely have an easy easy time taking down the little pine so the orange team is going to get this pick on the master splinter i'm assuming here while the Morgesh trying to get lancelot uh, if she's an, if, she, if she can do her thing here, no, she's not going to follow in to do her thing. As uh, she does have the team support, so maybe she could have actually gone in. But Jay Leo was just around the corner with a green buff and a black buff. My God, man! Uh, and that one, Malik is out. Oh, oh, there he goes. Yep, there's one hit. There's another hit. Uh, he's saving his Q. Yep, that one, Malik. You're gone. Holy smokes, Jay Leo! What a phenomenal play, man. Uh, somebody should definitely, uh, tweet this at him to get him to look because, my god, man, you're a beast. A uh, little overextending right here. Uh, can, it does it pay off? Yes, Lancelot does come in to, uh, give him some reprieve as now they have the map pressure for sure to get, to definitely go for all prime. They do have, uh, they do have one, um, a man advantage, so they should be doing that right now. Um, with this, uh, with their left lane here getting, gonna be set. Uh, oh, they do have to go and protect their right lane. So, nope, they are going to set their lanes. Maybe see if they can get uh, some so, some sort of a uh, numbers advantage after the setting these lanes. And then easy peasy. Easy peasy Orb Prime after this. So, let's see if that does happen. So, Orb Prime is up here for a minute and ten. Let's see if they can get that and win this game. As they definitely, definitely can. Guys, that is the meta. The meta, these uh, map objectives are too strong. Too relatively speaking, not, uh, well, I guess no. I do mean that. Too strong. Um, at least too strong in, rel in relative to how the game was before. Uh, I think, guys, I think Paragon has become a map objectives MOBA, which, um, you know what? Uh, maybe, at least it hasn't been before. So, it's very interesting to see that happen now. Okay, so here's a little bit of a gank here. Where is, uh, I see the, I see the Richter here. It's close by, but uh, you can't see him on the minimap. So, uh, here's Aloof Adept coming in to help out Lance a lot. They're trying to do something. Is there a replay bug? There is. The Richter is here, but I can't see him. Very interesting. So, there's a Richter going down, even though we couldn't see him. There's a uh, blue team actually getting in a little bit of a disadvantage. So that was a pr that was a poor uh, engagement for them, unfortunately. So now they are on the back foot, giving the giving the orange team here a good chance. Although fantastic split push here by Nato Sick, is he going to pay for it though? I think a three person gank here is going to be more than enough to take him out. So let's see. There is the Q. Okay. Oh, good dodge. Good dodge. He does have his uh, tether. Yep. Uh, no. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, he, oh, look at this, he's still alive, oh, he's still alive, and now he's dead. So, uh, he does get a tier 1 tower, I think that is fair for one death um, on his part. I think that is fair, that will put them behind on travel times across the map to getting to raptors, which they are, de they should definitely be getting now, absolutely, 100%, they should be getting this. Um, because they have the numbers advantage, they have the map pressure as well, especially in their left lane. Not so much or in their right lane, not so much in their left lane. Although, yeah. So here is a good good job here zoning by Squishy Flap in order to get the the logic here in order for him to get these raptors. So there's a little bit of a pick-me-up for the orange team after a couple um there are some not so good engagements here earlier on. Here's Squishy Flap going to town again. It doesn't have the uh doesn't have the bat the support from his team uh you know what if if you can pull it off if you can pull richter off in this in, in this aggressive nature it is tremendously valuable however you've got to pull it off let's take a brief pause here at the 18 minute mark we haven't taken a look at the builds yet so 16 to 12 here for the blue team yep definitely what i see even though the orange team here is doing a good job of staying in it at least cp department yep very much in, in favor for the blue team as they have gotten those kills and simply more minions as well third about 30 
minion kills in there as well. Uh, that's going to definitely add it up. So let's see what the Yin is going for. Brandon, I need some nice early life steal. I haven't seen that more often just because Raptors ha uh, and or Prime are more likely in the early game, uh, earlier game now. So uh, you can't necessarily wait for all of that crit and all of that stuff. So getting a brand of the Iron Eater is a perfect card for that earlier life steal. Great to see that here. Flashfire Piston, Madstone Jams, fantastic. Absolutely love it. Mm. Nato Sick, juicy, juicy juicy here's kwan going for uh jay leo going for more of a basic attack focus which i absolutely love as uh my um the, the math is still out there i am trying to work on that uh burst versus dps the rest very much a sport and uh sustained focused here with the grux being nice nicely done here with the uh Elden amulet for that front line and quenching scales coming out for the murio on the other team here what do we have circlet health still for squ for squishy flap no ward interestingly enough uh, that is going to put his team behind. Uh, Yin's going for very much similar here. The three Madison Gems into Flashfire Piston. She does gain a fair amount of uh, attack speed per level, so this is fine, even though it's actually not upgraded. So I would have liked to see this as uh, the second Madstone Gem instead, but that is a-okay. And the rest very uh, lane-focused, so very good build overall. Again, I just want to say that that's, it, in my opinion, uh, of course, these are the high elo players. They play many more games than I do. They probably have figured it out a little bit more than I have. <laughs> just saying. So again, apologies for any sniffles or if I sound a little, um, if I sound a little off today, I am still sick. My apologies, even though it is giving me a nice low juicy voice if i don't say so myself <laughs> oh dear so the blue team here is converging on the mid lane squishy flap and as he bear this could you could be giving them the numbers advantage to go for old prime be careful and they are backing off here the blue team is posturing a little but the kwang is coming in jay leo's coming in for trying to make some kind of a pick here uh, you gotta be careful though. Squishy Flap is coming in. Nope. Ooh, squishy Flap here. There is the numbers advantage for the blue team. Absolutely. Here we go. NATO 6 coming in. There's the ultimate. But no, no follow from the blue, from the orange team. Yep. That one Malik has committed. No follow for the rest of his team. Blue team or prime should be able to win the game. Uh, oh, gee, Leo. That for some reason didn't actually hit on Azzy Bear. Uh, but he is dead. So there is the advantage for the blue team. There is the game. Uh, I'm... There's no reason why they shouldn't. So, or prime. Or prime, or prime. Or prime. Push mid. There's the game. Let's see if this happens. Uh... Let's see, Aloof Adept and, I, and Lancelot. I mean, they might as well push. I mean, I, they might as well, as, as Nato Sake and Jay Lee will have more than enough. Well, along with Master Splinter here to push this lane. So, uh, yeah, that's, that, that's fair. So, they are going to push this mid lane just to get it guaranteed. But, uh, I mean, hey, there you go. So, there's Orb Prime. They should be going. They should be going. There's no. Uh, unless he has a ton of uh, CP. Yeah, he has seven. That's okay. But really, um,. They should be just. They should just be group. They should just be grouping here and pushing mid. Uh, or prime does grant anywhere between no oh, at this at this level uh, about three to five. I'm, the math is still out on this one. I haven't yet to done this as well. Uh, anywhere from three to four, I'm guessing to about seven or eight CPs worth of. Um, of value and actually we can take a look at their uh, or prime choices as well archmages warlord and wardalord very much like to see that yes warlords here for these basic attack heroes because the 20 percent damage boost gives you the power equivalent value of power uh you need that attack speed to even out the dps and again uh guys at least for my preliminary investigations average Average swinging your sword at the enemy. Dealing damage time is about seven seconds. There's a fantastic three-person ultimate here from Malik, uh, but no follow-up from here from the rest of the team as they are just going to be able to uh, to just really easily here um, kind of regenerate that. So when you guys are defending against Orb Prime, you have to play it extremely defensively. Only clear waves and only attack enemies that are in your tower. You cannot push out. You cannot press any sort of advantage unless it is super, super clear. Here's Jay Leo deleting logic. Fantastic picker to, to, to clear out 
their um, their tower dealio here. Maybe uh, typing in. Whoa, how that was that was a quick pick. And there you go. So now they should just group up here, push mid, and this should be the game by far. They should just play it safe. Focus core. Focus. Get those crazy picks here. J Liu is going out. Uh, they could definitely here win the game for sure, a hundred percent. But they are choosing to play it a little bit safe and uh, maybe secure the longer game advantage here. So this should be the game here. De Leo. Yep, there it is. There's a little bit of damage. He doesn't have his ultimate just yet. They should be focusing one Malak here. Yep, they do indeed. So now they have the two-person advantage. They absolutely, there's no reason why they should be um, closing out the game here. As long as they play it safe uh, with the minions, they absolutely, they, they have the power now. They have the damage to 100% uh, take, take down the core here. So this is game. Uh, just focus core. Just focus core. Just... Kill core. <laughs> Kill core. Okay. Um, well, you know what? Uh, I I think I think they are playing it. They, I think they are playing it safer. They are just making sure to get rid of uh, at least a few people here. There is the ultimate on logic. Dude, does they have it? Nope. Just attack the core. Just attack the core. There you go. So there you guys go. Twenty three minutes and fifty seconds. That is the meta, ladies and gentlemen and uh executed fairly well here in this high elo let's take a look at the builds here again ash of the witch here for gadget absolutely astronomically powerful uh it, it synergizes well with all of her abilities really very very powerful nothing too crazy under the pier and quenching scale standard here for a support uh into probably some more for maybe some cooldowns some tankiness coming out after that uh nothing too crazy Yep, pretty standard. You can see a lot of adamant edges. That is the meta uh, with some good power and a little bit of health just to really help you sustain. As these, as you know what, a little bit of health, guys, goes a long, long way. Please, ladies and gentlemen, like this video. If you like it, this like it, if it's just like, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about anything that I said here in this video. What do you think about the meta? What do you think? about any of these plays that these high elo players do any you know and anything at all let me know down in the comments uh because i would love to hear from you please like the video if you like it just like it just like it share with the community and of course guys subscribe if you guys like this content found it useful please subscribe so i can do it for you in the future Till next time like always stay optimistic and positive <laughs>